Hi guys, so um, I will gonna show you on how to deploy a Laravel application to the uh, Laravel Vapor uh, using the Laravel Vapor platform. So first, uh, I would like to give credits to, to the creator of Laravel, Sir Taylor Otwell, for, for giving me the, the Laravel Vapor early access, so this one. Uh, just received a day ago, so thank you for that one. And uh, I already registered and subscribed. So they have also the their complete documentation here. So I already accessed this one. So first, uh, we 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 can ask uh, ourselves so what is Laravel Vapor. So if you're familiar with with uh, Laravel uh, Forge. Uh, it's uh, you can think about uh, a vapor. It's like a, a forge for serverless technology. So also, what is um, vapor? So actually, uh, it is a um, auto scaling serverless deployment platform for Laravel. So it is powered by AWS Lambda. Man, uh, it will manage your Laravel infrastructure and vapor and fall in love with, with the scalability and simplicity of serverless. Okay, so this one, uh, we will check the, the requirements for, your, for, the, for Laravel vapor. So it should have the, the compatible with PHP 7.3 and Laravel 6.0. So since now, um, Laravel Laravel doesn't de deploy yet the 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 latest updates for Laravel is Laravel 5.8 still the 5.8 so we need to clone the the sir the development branch for the for the Laravel 6.0 so before that one we will check my PHP version so 7.3 uh, so this one is correct. So seven Laravel six point zero. Um, we need to clone the six point zero composer. <coughs> excuse me. Create project. That's it. Prefer. Prefer this. Laravel. Laravel. Uh, I will name the the project is test vapor okay then dev develop this is the the branch that has a version of laravel 6.0 so okay so it's installing the new laravel fresh 6.0 Okay, done. So, see the code. Uh -huh. Test vapor. Okay. So we can check the composer that JSON here. That uh, the Laravel version is. Um, 6.0 framework okay so now uh, we're going to to install the the vapor CLI so we will need to to run this one so make sure that we have the the vapor CLI to, to run the the vapor command line interface so actually in my case I already update that one I already installed that one so okay so done so next uh, we're going to check the the vapor command okay so you can see that I, I installed the vapor CLI Okay, 
then next um next step is uh, we need to to log in the v4 vsli password okay so it says here uh, authenticated successfully so now uh, when I try to create projects now so actually in, in Laravel vapor app I already do projects so we will create new projects here so at first we will check my my test vapor okay this is the this is the the one that we we install this one so now um we will we will create projects on this folder so for, we will just run the command vapor vapor init okay so it will create the vapor it will create vapor um, that yum yaml to 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 gen to it will create script here and after so we will name the, the our project test before by default okay just enter and we create the we will use the the first one us east Okay, I will I will install the vapor core package. Updating. Okay. Okay, done. So we can see here I auto generated the vapor YAML. So these are the environments. The production and the staging so for the build I don't want to to, to run the script the the view since we don't need this one as so yet okay so now uh, we can see here in our projects that we already built the the, the test vapor project here via the CLI so if we click this one we have the production and the staging environment so if we click the staging there is no so when we are trying to upload our application from local to staging so we will just run the vapor deploy staging One minute, one minute. After this one, uh, for from local to staging, it will it will upload uh, to to the vapor. This one here staging and we can access the 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 application directly with a zero downtime downtime deployment not only staging the uh, uh, in running the produ production side we will just run uh, vapor deploy production okay so they have so check the staging there's the status uh, actually this is the status for 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 the deployment uh, actually it's the same thing here so it's updating function code this one okay so almost finished Okay, good. So here's the URL for our staging environment. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess uh, it's uh, propagating the DNS, so not yet available. So we will we will try to run the the vapor production site. Okay. So actually, um, we can we can run commands here. There are stops. We can run commands. We can add some secret secrets, uh, metrics, or analytics for the for the for this environment production. So we can also. Notif notify the Laravel vapor of vapor. This is the, the notification for, for Slack and email. So after we deploy, it will notify to me on Slack and also in true email. So let's see if it's already done. Okay, so let's try. So yeah, uh, it's propagating Dennis record. We will just minute, wait for a minute or two to 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 propagate propagate the the DNS and to check our apps working. So for the staging it will take some time to 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 run the, the staging app. So. Okay, see so we can see the Laravel uh, in production, you can see the it's deployed from local to to production. Zero downtime deployment. Okay, so we can confirm here. So if, for example, we will we will update some codes here in the in the routes. Okay, so let's say for example, uh, we will. We will change it to to Laravel 6.0 plus V4 equals fire. So we can reload here the production is not yet there, and we will check in our I uh, know uh, in our local. So this one, okay. So we will push the code and see it here in the production if it's deployed. So we we'll just run vpor deploy production. So I don't I, I don't need to, to go to log into the server to to, to to check if it's upload uploaded. So the uh, the essentials or the concept of serverless is you don't need to worry you don't worry about your server so that's it so you can easily upload directly to the to the server using the Laravel vapor okay so it's scan the Loading now, so let's check. There is some deployment status here. So my, my test paper will check the production. So I am com I am deploying now here. New updates. Okay, so it's finish running.
Okay, come on, Amazon. Okay, so done. So we will hit this one. Command it. Actually, it's the same the URL here, the production sign. So click here and see. Boom. So it's already deployed and <clears throat> working. So that's it. Thank you so much for deploy your Laravel application through um, serverless technology using Laravel waveform. So thank you for thank you so much for watching and for more videos. Just hit subscribe and we will keep in touch on more updates on the Laravel waveform. Thank you and have a good day.